beautiful friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to another vlog. I am trying to do a bit more vlogging recently because one, I love it. I actually really do enjoy talking to the camera and hanging out with you guys. To be completely honest, the What I Eat in a Week videos, they are so much work. <laughs> There's so much work and I love creating them because I love cooking but at the same time like I just get so drained after I make one and anyways I'm drinking my matcha I slept in this morning until almost nine I had my alarm going off at like seven and snoozed it twice and then just turned it off thinking like okay I'm just gonna lay here I'm gonna get up naturally it's all gonna be good I fell asleep for another hour and a bit <laughs> <laughs> like I had lines on my face. I probably still have lines on my face. Since I've been in this apartment, I haven't been sleeping the best. And it's not because I don't feel at home here or anything, but mosquitoes foster in the trees and the garden out back. It's just insane. Like you wake up in the middle of the night and it's just and we go on a mosquito hunt every single night to try to make sure that there's none in the room. There always ends up being one. I don't know where they hide. I don't know where they get in to torture us. <laughs> the last few nights there's been no mosquitoes and I think my body is just feeling like, oh wow, you can sleep in peace. You can sleep in calm. Just sleep, it's nice. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna drink this, do a little bit of computer work. I don't love starting my day with work. Like it's really not good for my brain, but we are going to go on a beautiful adventure today. We're just going to like a big park, but I just wanna do yoga in the park. I just wanna put my feet on the grass and do some yoga <laughs> and enjoy the view and have that moment for myself during the day. But to get there, we need to drink our matcha. We need to do some computer work. We need to get ready, have breakfast. Then we're gonna go have a moment all to ourselves. A splash of oat milk, vanilla protein powder. I use the one from Sprout Living. Got my blue backpack on again. We are reunited and no, I'm not moving anywhere. We're changing apartments or traveling anywhere as of right this moment. I just got everything I need to hang out in this beautiful park over the next couple hours. But yeah, let's find a nice place to set up, do some activities. I ate breakfast not that long ago and I'm already really hungry. So I might have to grab a snack from the little cafe that's here. Hopefully, hopefully they have something that is vegan. This is the biggest aloe plant I have ever seen. She's so pretty. Like, I wish I could give you guys a better perception, but I'm about 5'1", five, 5'2", five, and I'm standing three to four feet away from it. <laughs> it's huge. For anyone curious, I am at the Kirsten Bosch Gardens. There's a tea room and a Royal Botanical Gardens. And yeah, it's just a big, beautiful place that was donated to the city by, you know, not a very nice guy, but 
you did give us this, so that's nice. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend coming here if you are in Cape Town, coming to Cape Town, planning a trip to Cape Town. It is so stunning, the mountain views, the gardens are so well taken care of. I would not recommend necessarily eating at the restaurant because it is very expensive, but I'm sure it's great food. All I've ever had was the muffin. The vegan muffin's great, recommend it, but it is like five Canadian dollars. So <laughs> it, to my opinion, not worth it. needed I feel so refreshed and calm and happy and joyous and all of the good emotions that you want flooding through your veins <laughs> it's crazy how much just spending some time in nature putting your feet on grass on the earth moving your body whether that's going for a walk or a hike or doing some yoga just reconnects you with yourself and to be completely honest like the reason that I came to this park instead of just going on like an actual wild nature walk is because it's scary to walk by yourself as a woman in South Africa. It is. And Cape Town is better than some other cities, but at the same time, it's still like unchartered territory. Like I'm not from this place. Yeah, like I, I get scared. Like there was points when I'm car camping in Canada that I was really terrified. And I was in Canada. To put that in perspective is now being in South Africa is like insane to me because I had literally nothing to fear because the statistics just say everything. But like I am so beyond blessed to be from Canada. Like I cannot put it in any other way. Let's Let's be happy right now because there's so many good things about this life, like just being in nature. You can move your body and both of those things feel absolutely amazing. I want you to know how I feel Though I may say it, I just think that I might have to spell it out for you so Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and this one is for The Artist. A stylish, organized, and well-made website is the perfect way to showcase yourself and all of the skills you have to your future clients and or employers. You can also sell all of the products that you make, whether they're digital or physical. Your art and skills should be showcased in a way that's unique, fun, and professional. That also clearly showcases you and your mission. Using Squarespace 
Squarespace is an easy and fun way to be creative in your style. If you'd like to try out Squarespace, then head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash Julia Ayers to get 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or website. Now back to the vlog. Clouds are really pretty. <laughs> the clouds are coming over the mountains, and all the tips of the mountains are almost covered. Why is it so nice to see a city go to sleep? out to eat or get takeout very often but after admittedly a couple glasses of wine that is one million percent my vibe right now <laughs>
basically has the same last name as me, but it's R-E-S instead of E-R-S for a while now. So I want to go check it out, give myself a latte, do a little drawing and relax for an hour or so. outfit change as you can tell got my yellow hat on which I don't wear enough but I feel like sunshine every time I put it on met up with some friends went slacklining I've only done slacklining twice in my life this is the second time and I was a lot scareder this time than the first time because first time it was like nice grass that we were falling on and then this time was like hard sticks and stuff <laughs> Now we're gonna go have a braai. And braai is the South African way of saying barbecue. And I'm very excited to make some vegetable kebabs with mushrooms. Said I just can't stop talking. Meanwhile, you knew it all along. You knew it all. You knew it all. Well, well, well. You must not know about me. 
know how to prep said kebabs. However, I forgot skewers, so I have to use chopsticks. <laughs> I'll see how it goes. Like a freaky. These days, it's not easy. 